well, how do we spot talent? Now, this is where systematically assessing for potential comes into play. Over the years, the search firms and HR teams focused on past performance when making appointments. Had they created value in other jobs? What was the KGAR that you were responsible for? You know, I, I used to think of myself so innovative and I said, well, what's the one thing you want to hang your hat on? Or what are you most proud of? Um, what experience do they have? Then the industry came up with competencies. And you're all familiar with them. Strategic orientation, commercial acumen, collaboration, influencing. Those of us who wanted to put icing on the cake rounded out the readiness assessment by thinking through culture fit, personality fit, etc. However, this still felt static to us. Because this was looking backwards. At best, this was looking at today. So we figured by focusing on deciphering potential for a CEO, we could easily work backward to potential for other levels and functions. So those qualities somebody displays, and I'm not just talking about potential when you're 18. One of the people that I assessed recently who had the most potential of anyone I assessed recently was an 85-year-old founder of a family company. Potential describes the ability to successfully take on larger leadership roles in both scale and complexity and the speed with which one can do so. So traits and motive comprise potential. And here I am giving the deep dark secrets of Egon Zander away, but we're among friends, right Richard? <laughs> so those traits are curiosity. Does the person seek out new experiences, ideas, knowledge, but more importantly, are they curious about themselves? Do they proactively seek feedback and change their behavior in response to it? The second one is insight. Do they proactively gather and make sense of a vast range of information, discovering new insights when applied can actually transform past views and set new directions? So, you know, creating vision. Number three is engagement. Do they engage in, in, in emotions, in logic of others, to communicate a persuasive vision and connect individuals to the leader and the organization? And finally, it's determination. And this is not dogged tenacity. This is keeping on driving to achieve the vision despite challenges while continuing to look for disconfirming evidence. So a curious mind with a hunger to learn, who can connect the dots with tenacity while appealing to hearts and minds is a future leader.